Hey guys, Everything Tech Pro here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install iTransmission on your iOS 10.0.2 or 10.0.1, any of the versions. It works with previous versions as well. So, let's see what do we require for this the CDM Pactor and this file, which is uh, so it says download started but yeah there will be a file which you need to download which says iTransmission so both of them I'll leave the link in the description for both the CDI impactor and as well as how to get the iTransmission file so there are three methods in which you do it and the one I'm showing you right now is the easiest way and it just requires computer nothing else the no computer method works I'm going to be showing you that later but that there is no you know guarantee that it will work and this is semi tethered which means that you need to uh, redo it once in 10 or 15 days I don't know the, the day count but you need to do it uh, once in a number of days maybe 10 days or something or once a week or when you restart your device you need to do this back and it's not gonna take a lot of time so I'll leave the link to the description so as you can see I have downloaded the iTransmission 5.0 IPF file so now what you do is after you download the uh, CDM Pactor, you need to go to your downloads. You'll find right here, double click. It's gonna extract the stuff and then drag and drop it in the applications. So it should be done. And now let's go to applications. Uh, yeah, CDM Pactor is there. You can just close this and double click it. So we'll give open. And now you can see CDM Pactor is on. And now after you do that, you need to connect your iOS device and you need to unlock your device connected and yeah it's connected now you can see uh, it shows something so no network frown is the name of my iphone 6s so now what you do is just click this thing up right here drag it and drop it should be some so here uh, it says the Apple username I'm gonna give mine and don't worry it's not going to someone else it just is going to Apple so and it's gonna ask you password so let's give it up the password and it should start doing its stuff now it has started list terms so it should start doing the work so it is down and it should take just two minutes for you and it's extracting and everything is going on in background it's gonna take two minutes so and it's done so now okay it's installed so what I'm gonna do is close the CDM factor and then I'm gonna go and uh, yeah, where's the quick time player so I'm gonna go to quick time player and show the screen of my uh, system so let's go to movie recording and this yeah it directly took me to the screen now you can see I have got the eye transmission right up on my screen in this second page so when I touch it it says untrusted developer so you need to go to settings and you need to go to general and then you need to go to the bottom it says profile and device management go to there and just trust over there on the top it's three trust so once you trust it i transmission should be ready to open so initialization finished bang it just is on your device and you could just start any transfers right away from your mobile this is the first method the second method uh, that does not require any uh, laptop or something but I'm, I'm not sure whether this will work every time or not so for that what you do is go from Safari and go to iemulators.com you can see the link on the top I leave this link as well once this page is loaded up let it load completely don't do anything in between it needs to be loaded completely now it has loaded go to apps and then just scroll down you have the bar magnet this is also a client remote for the torrent and then you could go on the bottom these two i transmissions what you do is click right here scroll down and tap install and this says date trick on the top right over here 
which means that you need to take your date back for about two to three months before so this mostly does not work it says it cannot download this is the method two in which you could download this this and you could download this one as well all of them says date trick which means that i'll show you how to do it but i'll not do it exactly because you cannot keep one or more eye transmissions at the same time so let's go and go to date and time so we'll go to general and then date and time and then you remove the set automatically and then you set the date and time you just switch off this and here comes you could set the time and date before a couple of months i'm not going to do it because i'm not uh, you're not supposed to keep more than one eye transmission uh, on your device it may you know crash your device the third method is simple go to that is iosem.us i'll leave the link as well tap any icon and it'll say it'll install a profile install it and gen just go and trust the profile as i did before and then as you can see i installed pokemon go this is using the iosem so go to apps and sometimes very rarely if you see a green tick right over here it means that it's it can be downloaded but in this case both the bar magnet and uh, let me go down eye transmission yeah both of them are with a red x which means that when you go and try to uh, install the stuff okay let it load first so when you tap the install it says app revoked so mostly you'll find this but if you're in luck you should definitely you know find a tick and you can go away and directly install so this is how you install the eye transmission on your uh, iphone and it works on iOS 7 and above. So you have to go to, let me show you which version I'm using. The iOS, so come on. Okay, it's slow, maybe I'll show you in the about. So as you can see, 10.0.2. So uh, this is how you install. That's it guys for today. I'll see you up in the next video. Until next time, it's peace out.